Right guys, so this is the Metatrader 4 app. This is on the quotes, as you can see, on the icons on the bottom left. From there, if we hit each icon, we'll run through what they are. You've got your charts. And again, you can simply pinch and zoom in and out. You can see I've got a couple of trades there running at the moment. <clears throat> the next one is the trade itself. You can see I currently have two trades available. If we were to press and hold on this bottom one, which is the 0 0.5, it brings up a sub menu, which is then is close, modify, trade, chart. Obviously, if you click trade, it'll bring up the trade aspect where you can select a new trade. Chart will take you back to chart. Modify lets you modify the parameters where you have your stop loss and possibly take profit. Uh, a close option, it brings up the close. Now, if you were to close a partial, on this you can see on the very top of the middle we've got in black 0 0.05 that's my lot sizes that i have running at the moment you can click on this and then you can put you want to close out maybe a 0 0.02 and then it's going to, going to give you the close the profit partial that you are going to currently take out there and then you could hit close with profit i'm not going to do that simply because i'm letting this trade run at the moment but that's how you would take the partials from there, we've got the history. There's nothing on the history there at the moment. You could go to the week. That's going to give you a rundown on the week. Uh, you've got the month. You've got the custom. Again, this here is uh, it's a funded account that I'm using, albeit it's a, it's a rapid with my Forex funds. It's currently uh, in around about, uh, what about $30 profit. I'm just taking small profits, as you can see from this here. From there on the top, you've got the edit. So the pencil on the top of you, click on this, it lets you edit any of these, or you can sort of press and hold and rearrange the, the currencies to your desired area. Uh, you've got it on advanced or simplified. You've got a plus, okay, so the plus sign lets you add uh, cryptos, uh, indices, uh, metals, and, th and things like that. So let's see if we wanted to have a look at NZD. It's going to bring up uh, NZD pairs I can add. I can press the plus that would add it to my to my list. So NZD Swiss franc, just cancel that. Go back. NZD Swiss franc is on the bottom there. And again, hit the bottom, and then you can go to the chart. So you can look at the chart. Now on the top. The icons on the top, the top left, you have a time frame. So H4 is a one hour. You can go down your time frames. One minute, five minute, 15 minute, one hour, four hour, daily, weekly, monthly. Uh, and then from there, you've obviously got your ask line, your bid line, which is in the orange and green there. You've got in the middle top, a cursor. Okay, so this is just going to give you information on... Uh, the, the, the five minute EMEA, the, the, the 13, yeah, the 13 EMEA, the five EMEA, the 50 EMEA, and the 200 EMEA, okay, and where the prices are, the date, and obviously the time to the right hand side. Uh, to get rid of that, you obviously need to click the crosshair again on the top middle. So that gets rid of that. Uh, in the middle on the very top is the indicators. So you can add moving averages. So if you said click on the main window again, so let, let's say you've clicked on the F, you click on main window. This is going to give you your different indicators, the trends, uh, the oscillators, uh, the volumes, uh, Bill Williams, and you just need to click on these and these will add as so put your parameters in. And there's your Bollinger Bands added on there. To get rid of them, you simply just click on the, the F on the top. Press and hold. Uh, let's have a look. Edit. Press edit on the top right. And you can just get rid of these as well. I, I normally keep the moving averages on there to be fair for, for myself. Uh, and then on the far, on the middle right, you have the option of the, the icons, which is a circle, square and triangle. You click on this. And then this is going to give you objects to draw. The titles underneath, it's going to give you what objects are drawn on these currency pairs. 
but if you wanted to put a trend line okay you've got your your object here add an object trend line there's a trend line okay again to get rid of that press and hold and then you can delete that off from there you've got to add an object uh, so when you click on on the circle square icon triangle icon you can then click add an object and this gives you your lines let's get this again this gives you your lines uh, your channels GAN Fibonacci your Elliot's and again rectangles and things like that so you can see right we're here we've got a consolidated zone uh, again just to get rid of it click on it until you get the dots press and hold hit delete now on the top right hand corner you've got trade so we're currently on the nzd swiss franc click on trade this gives you the option to take a trade now it currently it's a market execution if you want to change that there's a couple of things you can do hit the middle it's going to let you change your lot sizes accordingly okay uh, from there you can hit buy or sell straight away if you want to do market execution or you can do uh, what we call limit orders so buy limits sell limits buy stops and sell stops so that's it for the mt4 on the mobile i'll be going over the different sort of orders and uh, limits and stop orders what they are all about in another video but that's primarily how you would use the mt4 on your mobile you can get it for android or ios again on the very end you've got settings you can click on a new account okay you can log into your existing account um, where you just put in the parameters of your broker from there you've got uh, again the charts where you can change <coughs> to line charts bar charts candlesticks and different things on there and the colors you can change the colors of your candles and everything else appropriately to what is best for you okay and that's it for your mt4 on on android or ios thank you very much